I am coming to you with yet another video. You must be loving me because I'm cranking them out for you today. Um, it's Sunday and I have a little time to spare so why not? Okay, so today we're going to do a update on the products that I currently use and the products that I am in love with. I'm not sure if I'm going to mention the products that I don't like, but let's get started. So for shampoos and conditioners, um, I definitely turn to Shea Moisture um, for their shampoos and their conditioners. These are the ones that I use. I'm just going to go through them really quickly because I have quite a bit of products here today. Um, so for the shampoo, I use the line shampoo. I'm going to go by line. The shampoo and the conditioner, I use the Manuka Honey and Mufuru Oil. It's an intensive hydration shampoo and conditioner um, with African rock fig, fig and boa baba oil. Um, and 100% of the proceeds, sorry about that, my fan was on. And 100% of the proceeds, and I don't feel like restarting the video. Don't judge me. 100% of the of the proceeds go to the community com the community commerce fights poverty okay so this is what the line looks like i absolutely love the packaging um i don't know brown is probably like subconsciously my favorite color but in my head it's pink and purple but um i love these two like these are my favorite not my favorite they're like they're up there with my favorites i don't want to say that one product is my favorite because some of them i really love so I actually heart these two really well and then my next two would be I forgot it in the bathroom but it would be the conditioner and the shampoo this line is the super fruit complex 10 in 1 renewal uh, renewal system with marula oil and biotine I really love this this is more of the first one was more of an intensive shampoo and condition experience this is more of a light one I use my vo5 moisture milk still I ran out of that and I threw the bottle away, which is why I don't have it to show you guys today. But um, another thing that I'm into right now is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner. With invig it's invigorate with peppermint, tea tree oil, eucalyptus, and botanicals. This is actually really, really good. It moisturizes really well. It gives you good slip. Um, and it's really amazing, so you should check that out. One of my, still my favorites, I know about the Scandal, but I still use it. It's the Wen by Chaz Dean. This is a summer peach and honey. Love this flavor. Two pieces, smells so amazing. It has like pomegranate and all that good and fun stuff in it. So I really love this because this is like a cleansing conditioner. Um, don't know if any of you is going to want to try when because of the scandal, but I already had it. So I wasn't planning to throw it away because y'all know that thing was expensive. All right, let's go to deep conditioners. I have also the Win 6 to 9 um, by Chaz Dean. It's ultra nourishing um, conditioning treatment. I actually absolutely love this. This is a great deep conditioner. Um, another deep conditioner. I have my own personal deep conditioner that I made myself. Um, I also have the I, that was finished and I threw the package away. Um, that what was it's in that little bottle. I can't remember. Anyway, deep conditioners, not deep conditioners. Leaving conditioners. My Cantu Shea Butter still is one of my favorite. This is what I use for my lock method. Um, I'm definitely going to record a video to show you guys um, what I do for my lock method. And this is my hands, hands down my only leave-in conditioner. I have another one. I have the, um, as I told you, as I told you guys in my previous video, if you guys watched to see my Shea Moisture um, Love and Not Loves videos, regrets. I have this one too, but I don't like it. It doubles as a leave-in conditioner and a moisturizer, and I really like this too. This is the Mega Growth Daily Leave-In Strengthener Break Free. That's what that is. It smells really nice. It's light like um, a deep conditioner. That's what that looked like right there. And um, so I love that one too. I'm still, I'm really in the market for deep conditioners because my Shea Moisture is done, and I would like to try something else. However, my camera cut off. I don't know why. Maybe because I need to take some videos off the SD card. But let's continue. We should not be stopped. I don't know where I stopped just now. I know I was talking about the the Cantu Shea Butter, and I'm in the market for those. So that's my only leave-in conditioner. Um, 
The oils I use, this is a leave-in treatment, but I use it as part of the lock method, the O in the lock method. Um, this is Advanced Techniques by Avon. It's a Moroccan oil leave-in treatment. It is amazing. It's a glass bottle. It's This is freaking just amazing. This is the only curling product that I currently use in my hair regimen. Um, now, I don't use these products all at once. I just like having it for the purposes of variety. Um, but I do use them throughout the course of like a week or two weeks. I interchange my products a lot. And these are the most used ones. Now, not saying I didn't have any more, but these are the ones that I used a lot. So I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know the ones that I used my... So the only curling product that I currently have... No, I don't. I have the Wen one, but I don't really use it that much. Um, the curling souffle, the coconut and hibiscus from Shea Moisture. Um, oh God, life. All my braid outs, my bantu knot, my twist up, everything, everything with this. This, this is. I, I did forget to mention my shea butter souffle. I actually made this. I whipped it up with a bunch of oils, and this is what I used to moisturize my hair with. And we got cut off again. So I think what was happening, the sun was causing my camera to overheat and get too hot, and so it had to cool down. Now we're back. So I was just mentioning this. Um, I use, for moisturizational purposes, I use the Organics Olive Oil Creamy Therapy. And that's almost done. I really like that one. The Talia Waji Curly, Curly Curl Jello um, is one of my favorite curling products as well. Um, but that's finished. I was trying to stretch it out and I put some, of, I mixed it with some of the Wen um, Real Hood. That's fine. So in a nutshell, that's most of my favorite products. Now my oil, this is my oil cocktail. Um, when this is done, I will do a video on how I make this. This is not what's in here. This is my spritz. Um, I am gonna record a video showing you what's in here so you can go ahead and have an idea of what I do. But when I wake up in the morning, I spritz my hair. Um, if I'm doing this style, if you wanna see this video, I did record it and it's gonna be somewhere around down here. Um, spritz up and that's it, I leave. I'm, I, I don't have that much time in the morning anyway. So, of the products that I'm really into right now and that I'm really loving and that I constantly use. And um, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I do have 4C here. I have really coarse hair, um, as you can see. But uh, if you guys have suggestions for products that you use and work for you, please, 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 Leave them, down, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know. Be sure to like my Facebook fan page. Um, the link is down below. I do update there pretty often with pictures of my hair, hairstyles that I'm currently rocking, and that type of stuff. So if you want to be more frequently updated, um, do be sure to check out my Facebook page. And I'm going to be going live sometime soon. So let me know. Um, list your questions down below or on my Facebook page if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, rating, and thank you because you clicked that thumbs up button. Um, thank you for getting to the end of this video. Bye.